everyone, me again. Welcome to my November favourites video where I will show you all the products that I have been loving throughout the month of November. Now I cannot believe that we are nearly at the end of the year. It only seems like yesterday that I was doing my January favourites and kind of starting off the year and really getting into YouTube. We're now nearly at the end of the year and look how far we've come together. Oh, group hug. That's nice. But I'll try and keep it short and not as miserable as that. It's not a bad thing that we're near the end of the year. It's nearly Christmas, guys. How exciting. Um, but I've got a few beauty bits and bobs to show you and a couple of lifestyle bits so let's get started. I'm sorry if I look a little bit on edge um, but I'm sat on my bed and I just saw one of those little creepy spiders I'm pretty sure it was one of those Black Widow death spider things that has invaded the UK and I panicked and blew it off the bed um, but now I can't find it so I've just got a horrible feeling that it's crawling up the side of the bed to come and eat me as revenge for making me squirt out its little web as a parachute. So yeah, if I get bitten and die, it's been really nice knowing you. Let's start with a beauty product, one of my absolute favourite lipsticks, which I have been using so much now, because now is the time for the darker lipsticks to roll out. At the moment, I think I'm wearing um, the Chanel Rouge Allure lipstick, which is not actually my favourite. It's a proper classic lipstick. When I first got it, I was obsessed with it. But since I've been wearing it, it feathers really badly, it fades awfully. Um, so I'm on the market for a new, like, cherry bright red lipstick. So if anybody knows one, please leave me a comment below and let me know your recommendations. Um, I'm thinking maybe MAC um, Ruby Roo or Russian Red or something like that. I love MAC lipsticks. I um, haven't tried any of the chubby sticks but apparently Clinique contacted me on Twitter and said that their chubby sticks are amazing but they would say that, obviously naughty bunnies. Um, so if you can recommend any like bright red lipsticks that kind of last, leave me a comment below. But the lipstick I was going to talk to you about is the Rimmel 107, the Kate Moss collection. Now this, these came out last year I believe, they're Kate Moss's matte collection for Rimmel and 107 is the shade that everybody has and that everybody raves about because it's just gorgeous. It's this beautiful deep berry red colour, almost kind of like a purpley red, not as purple as MAC Rebel which is also one of my favourites, um, but it's just it's just spot on for this time of year, autumn, winter, dark bold lips and it lasts for ages and I think they're only about five, six pounds, they're an absolute bargain. So yeah, this is my favourite lipstick of the moment and it's come out again, come up trumps, so well done Rimmel for this. Next is a brand new moisturiser that I have. Those of you who read my blog will probably know what's coming. Um, but this is Lush Skin Drink. And it is a really kind of heavy, oily, but it doesn't make you oily, moisturiser. It doesn't smell great. Um, it's just one of those Lush products that does a job but isn't very kind of luxurious. But it, it really does what it says on the tin which is very grubby because I've just got it everywhere. Um, it's not easy actually being in a screw top tub, but never mind, we'll shall rub it in. Um, but I think it's made with like olive oil, oh no, sesame oil. Um, it's like a sesame oil cream. And it doesn't make you feel greasy even though it's really quite heavy and thick. Um, but I use it in the evenings and sometimes, I think I'm gonna start using it in the day as well because my skin gets really dry towards the end of the day. Um, so I think I'm gonna use that under my foundation just a little bit in the mornings as well. But it's really been saving my skin. Although I've broken out ever so slightly on my cheeks actually at the minute. Um, because I've been exercising with my makeup on, naughty person. Um, so my pores have been a little bit clogged and um, it's actually done wonders for my skin I think I when I filmed my everyday makeup video I was all broken out around my chin really really bad since I've been using this it's cleared all that up and apart from like one or two my skin's looking great at the moment so I would highly recommend this and even if you're acne prone thought that was a spider there even if you're acne prone um greasy skin then you still use it because it doesn't make you extra greasy and oily it's fab perfect for this um, season when the skin really starts to dry up and gets horrible so yeah love this thank you lush next is a product that I think I may have mentioned before I've just shown you oh, I've ruined the surprise is the Nivea in shower body moisturizer I think it's been in a haul video of mine but not in a favorites it should be in all of my favorites because it's awesome um, it's basically an in shower moisturizer as it says on the tin and you wash yourself as normal and instead of getting out the shower you go wait a minute you put all this over your skin, rub it in like a cream, um, and then you wash it off and it leaves you feeling lovely and supple and moisturised and juicy for the rest of the day. And it really, really does last, it's wonderful, it's so quick and easy, because who can really be bothered in the morning to stand there slathering on loads of moisturiser? Certainly not me. Um, so this is brilliant to use in the week. 
when you just want to keep your skin moisturised, which you should do in this horrible cold, dry weather. Um, and yeah, it's just fab. I love it. And I think it's about... I think I got this one, it was on offer, and this is this was about three quid. And um, it can be quite quite expensive, like the big ones are like nearly a fiver, but it's so worth it, and you hardly need to use a little bit. So if you haven't tried this yet, because everybody's raving about it, if you haven't tried it, definitely try it, because they're raving about it for a reason. It's good. Next is a product that I've only just started using again, but for, forgotten just how much I love them. Um, and it is the Crest Whitening Teeth Strips. Now, quite a few of you have asked in my previous videos if I've had my teeth whitened, and the answer was yes. Last year I had them freshly done um, at one of those things where you sit in the chair for an hour and they stick one of those stupid Wallace and Gromit things in your mouth and all sorts. It was weird. Um, but it worked quite well. It was, I think it was about £99 and it worked quite well, it was fine. But then um, I really noticed them starting to get yellow again, kind of like six months later. So I was actually sent some of these originally to review um, and they worked wonders. I was amazed at them. I actually think that these did more for my teeth than the professional whitening did and that's a bold claim to make. Love them. So um, uh, they've, I've kind of like left my teeth um, since the first time I used these but this is probably like a maybe six no nine months even to a year on and i'm just getting another two week course they're the advanced seal professional effects professional level whitening ones because there's so many crest strips um and i will also pop a link to where i bought these in the info bar below um because i find it's quite difficult to find them in the uk from a reputable seller because there's loads of fakes and they are teeth you do not want to be messing around always make sure that you're putting proper things on your teeth because where would we be without our teeth ladies and gentlemen well probably very hungry ask your grandma but these are brilliant just two strips you put one on the top one on the bottom leave them on for half an hour you can still drink water while you've got them in you can still talk you can barely even see that they're on peel them off uh, brush your teeth as normal that'd be it use them for two weeks and honestly i see such a big difference with my teeth when i use these and i love them and i think they're about £35 which really isn't going to break the bank um, and like I said I think these are probably better than the professional whitening I had done so yeah I love them I'll leave a link below second to last item is a fashion item it is my bobble hat from a company called John Smedley Knitwear um, well just John Smedley I think they contacted me a couple of um, weeks ago with a company called Moat House Eyewear I think I've spoken about them before they make wooden, wooden sunglasses and John Smedley are a company that create knitwear that have been around for ages i think since 1789 or 84 or something like that um and they make really good quality knitwear like seriously like knitwear that actually works you know the stuff that you buy from primark for six pound you think oh this is really great but you're still shivering in it with about five layers underneath no no when you put the john smendy stuff on you're sweating within about five minutes it does actually work so if you're looking for kind of like a, a classic investment piece john smedley is wonderful and it's all made in britain which i absolutely love um really behind sort of british brands and this is a hat that they gave me because i went along and did a photo shoot with moat house and john smedley together like a little collaboration thing um i'll pop a i'm popping a blog post up about it so if you follow me on i'm, I'm actually on tumblr xameliarex.com but it's hosted on tumblr so if you're on there you can follow me um if not you can um i'll pop a link to the blog love insight so you can follow me through there or if you um, follow me on Instagram at xameliarx, there's loads of pictures from behind the scenes of the shoot and stuff, so that's really nice. But at the end of the day, they let me keep a couple of the pieces, um, and one of them was this hat. And I've been wearing it non-stop. At first, I didn't really think it suited me. It wasn't really my style, but it's so slouchy and so warm. I just found that I've kind of been throwing it on to go from the car to the office or um, from home to kickboxing or anywhere just to keep me snugly and warm. And I love it. I think it's about £65 and they come in all different colours. So it's quite expensive, but it really is like an investment piece. And if you're looking for something to keep you warm, maybe if you do a lot outside, if you're a walker or a rambler or whatever, and you want something to keep you warm, definitely, definitely. Um, get yourself over to John's Smedley, I'll pop a link to them below. But yes, I love this, so yeah. And last but not least is a complete new obsession for me, and that is Yankee Candles. Now, I love candles, my favourite are Neom Candles, I've mentioned them a couple of times on here before. Um, I just love their aromatherapy scents, but I've never really bought into the whole Yankee Candle craze until now. Um, boyfriend and I were off 
on a Sunday stroll um, through loads of like independent shops and we came across a Yankee Candle shop that was so overpowering it kind of smelt a bit like Lush you know when you walk in and it instantly gives you a headache <laughs> I love Lush and now I love Yankee, Can uh, Yankee Candles but we went in, smelling loads of different candles, couldn't really decide on which ones to get because um, a lot of them are quite sweet and a lot of them are overpowering as well in the shop. Um, but we settled on, or I settled on and the boyfriend treated me to, um, Blissful Autumn, which is this gorgeous kind of, it is a real autumnal scent. It smells like apples and, it smells like apple and pear crumble with kind of like a muskiness of forest. <laughs> really explaining that well but it's kind of like it's kind of leafy like the smell of a forest like really fresh um but then you've got like that kind of orchid um smell as well it's just oh it's wonderful i love it it's not too sweet i'm not into like really sweet candles but it's just got a little hint of sweetness and then quite like a fresh uplift uplifting smell that comes in afterwards comes in afterwards love it and the other one i got was soft blanket and I think this has to be my favourite candle of all time ever it smells amazing it smells like I can't get the lid off but that was an attractive face somebody give that for me oh it smells like you know when you're a little bit cold or you're not feeling very well and you just bring your bed duvet downstairs and sit on the sofa with your duvet all snuggled up underneath it smells like a duvet day that's what it smells like but it smells really fresh it just smells like fresh laundry but just really like oh, just snuggly and warm I love it and when you burn it it fills the room with this gorgeous relaxing scent but it doesn't smell like you've got a candle on it just kind of becomes the smell of your room if that makes sense like sometimes you can get you walk in when I've got th this is quite subtle as well blissful autumn actually but I have bought a couple of other like samplers from there just to try a few things out like I love mandarin and cranberry as well that's my favorite too um but well, like when I'm burning that I walk in I'm like hmm that's a nice candle but when you burn soft blanket you walk in you go my room just smells lovely oh so I'm obsessed absolutely obsessed with these um and like I said I've got mandarin and cranberry as well as a taster and I love that so I'm gonna have to get like a big version but I'm gonna buy a big version of both of these as well because they're just spot on and I'm so excited to try out some of the Christmas wintery ones as well um, I think apple and pine needle might be featuring and uh, cranberries on ice as well but I'm just completely obsessed with them so they are definitely definitely in my November favourites and the way it's going at the moment I'm probably going to end up with a Yankee Candle in every single favourites video as well so yeah I love them. Let me know your favourite Yankee Candle, leave me a comment below, give me some um, scent um, suggestions or your favourite candle for kind of like autumn winter, well we're technically in winter now so leave me your favourite Christmas Yankee Candle. One more thing for my November favourites is something I nearly forgot about because it's not in front of me here but I've got photos to show you. It's a company called Bloom and Wild who send you flowers through your letterbox. Not a courier that comes in from Interflora with a bunch of flowers and says, here, someone sent you flowers, sign for them. No, no, they send them through your letterbox. How do they do that, you ask? Well, they come in a beautiful little letter-shaped box. Um, and you arrange them yourself. They're like flat packed, flat packed flowers and you arrange them yourself and mine ended up looking, I'll show you from here, can I show you? Can you see? Mine ended up looking like that, a stunning bouquet of flowers which lasted for about 10 days and the best part, they start from about 14 quid for a bunch of flowers, is it 14 or 16? I can't remember, They're around like 15 quid for a bunch of flowers and they are beautiful and they're the perfect gift to give somebody because they don't have to be in you could if you, you don't have to like find out their work address and surprise them there which is nice by the way but if you want to just surprise them you only know their home address they can post them through the letterbox and they'll be there waiting for when they get home and basically you get a little card inside with the pictures of the flowers and it tells you how to arrange them so it says put the lilies in the middle and then you put those there and those there and you can play florist for a little while and arrange your beautiful beautiful bunch of flowers and they're all meant to last for well over a week and mine did mine lasted for probably about 10 days maybe maybe 11 days the, the lilies went on for ages and some of the foliage but then a couple of like the pinky flowers they started to droop a little bit so I just took those out 
but it's an absolutely amazing company and I love them. And that guys is it for my November November favourites, my November favourites video. I feel like I've rambled quite a bit in this video so I'm going to try and wrap this up quite quickly. Um, but yeah, lots of exciting things to come because it's Christmas and I've got quite a bit of time off over Christmas so I'm going to be filming a, a few more videos than, than maybe I would do normally because I've just got some time off and that would be nice. So what I want you guys to do is leave me a comment below, let me know some videos that you maybe like to see, any kind of like suggestions and I'll take a read through like I always do, I always reply to your comments because it's lovely. Um, so yeah, I'll take a read through and then maybe I might sort of film a few of those over the Christmas period going into the new year. Um, and I've also got a January photo a day challenge that I'm going to be launching on my blog. If you don't know what they are, basically um, it's a list of words, uh, one for every day of the month, and you take a picture on that day that corresponds with the word. So like for example, really simple, the word might be blue, so you've got to take a picture of something blue, or your interpretation of what that word might mean. They're really, really fun to do. I've never taken part in one myself, um, so I thought for the first time I would create my own and see if we can get as many people as we can kind of doing it together. Um, the top three photographers of the month um, my favourite photographers of the month will actually win a £20 ASOS gift voucher each. Um, so make sure you're following me on Twitter at XameliaX. Um, so when the details of that come out, you can see and we can all join in and take photos together and it will be lovely. But yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next next few months um, and I'll, I'll get on it. So that's it for today guys, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and tell your friends, those of you are leaving me lovely lovely comments to say oh I love your channel, why don't you have more subscribers, well it's up to you guys, make sure you tell your friends or share the videos or you know just let people know that there's a new YouTuber on the scene and uh, yeah hopefully we can get more people to the channel and grow our little YouTube family. Oh. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye! It's a little bit daunting to kind of sit here and show people what you do, um, but you asked for it, so here I am, your performing little monkey, um, showing you how I do my makeup on a daily basis. So I am going to take off my makeup, um, let the face free into the world. So if you do have any small children in the room, you might want to take them out just for the next couple of minutes until we put some foundation on.